Welcome to our eye-opening segment, 5 Signs Your Feet Reveal About Diabetes. Our feet often convey hidden messages about our health, especially when it comes to diabetes. From tingling sensations to slow healing wounds, your feet might be sending important signals you shouldn't ignore. Join us as we uncover these subtle signs and learn how they can help us stay ahead in managing our health effectively. Number 1. Numbness. In the context of diabetes, it's a sensation of reduced or lost feeling in the feet and other extremities due to nerve damage, a condition known as peripheral neuropathy. It is a common complication of diabetes, particularly in people with poorly controlled blood sugar levels over an extended period. The nerves in the body, especially those in the feet, play a crucial role in transmitting sensory information to the brain. However, sustained high levels of glucose in the blood can damage these nerves over time. In the case of numbness, the nerves may fail to transmit any sensation at all, leading to a loss of feeling in the feet. Numbness associated with diabetes can have serious implications. Without the ability to feel pain or discomfort, people may not notice injuries, blisters, or ulcers on their feet. Consequently, minor issues can escalate into more severe complications, such as infections or even amputations, if left untreated. Managing numbness due to diabetes involves controlling blood sugar levels through medication, diet, and lifestyle modifications. Additionally, proper foot care practices, such as daily inspections, wearing appropriate footwear, and avoiding activities that may cause injury, are essential to prevent complications. Regular checkups with healthcare professionals are crucial for monitoring nerve function and addressing any emerging issues promptly. Number 2. Slow Wound Healing This is a concerning complication that can have significant implications for overall health. In people with diabetes, high levels of glucose in the blood can lead to several physiological changes that impair the body's ability to heal wounds efficiently. Slow wound healing is a condition characterized by delays in the body's natural process of repairing damaged tissues. However, in diabetes, several factors contribute to impaired wound healing which includes poor circulation, high levels of glucose in the blood can damage blood vessels, leading to reduced blood flow to the extremities, including the feet. Without an adequate blood supply, Essential nutrients and oxygen necessary for wound healing cannot reach the injured tissues efficiently. Neuropathy. Diabetes often causes peripheral neuropathy, a condition characterized by nerve damage, particularly in the extremities. Nerve damage can impair sensation in the feet, leading to unnoticed injuries or wounds. Additionally, nerve dysfunction can disrupt the signals necessary for the body to initiate the wound healing process effectively. When a wound becomes infected, the body's ability to heal is further compromised, leading to prolonged healing times and potential complications. Overall, the interplay of these factors in diabetes leads to a significant delay in wound healing, particularly in the feet where peripheral neuropathy and vascular complications are common. Proper management of blood sugar levels, diligent foot care, and prompt treatment of any foot injuries are essential to mitigate the risk of slow wound healing and its associated complications in people with diabetes. Number 3. Changes in Skin Color This can manifest in various ways in people with diabetes, often serving as important indicators of underlying health issues. Here's an extensive look at these changes and their relationship to diabetes. It can lead to dehydration causing the skin to become dry and itchy. Additionally, nerve damage associated with diabetes can affect the sweat glands, resulting in decreased moisture in the skin. Inflammation is a common response in the body to high blood sugar levels. Chronically elevated blood sugar can lead to inflammation in the skin, resulting in redness, warmth, and sometimes tenderness, particularly in areas prone to friction or pressure, such as the feet, some people with diabetes may notice a shiny or glossy appearance to their skin, particularly on the feet. This can be attributed to a combination of factors, including poor circulation, nerve damage, 
and reduced elasticity of the skin due to prolonged exposure to high blood sugar levels. Monitoring these changes closely, along with maintaining proper blood sugar control and foot care, is crucial in preventing further complications and promoting overall health and well-being. Regular checkups with a healthcare provider are recommended to address any concerns and ensure proper management of diabetes-related skin issues. If you're enjoying the content, liking the video and subscribing to the channel can show your support and help the creator reach a wider audience. Let's proceed with the video. Number 4. Foot Ulcer. It's an open sore or wound that develops on the foot, typically on the bottom surface or around the toes. Foot ulcers can vary in size and severity, ranging from small, shallow sores to deeper wounds that expose underlying tissues, such as muscles and bones. These ulcers are a common complication of diabetes and are primarily caused by a combination of factors related to the disease. In diabetes, high levels of glucose in the blood can lead to several complications that contribute to the development of foot ulcers. Additionally, it can alter the functioning of sweat glands, leading to dry, cracked skin that is more prone to developing ulcers. It can also impair blood circulation, especially in the smaller blood vessels that supply the feet. Reduced blood flow means that the tissues in the feet receive fewer nutrients and oxygen, slowing down the healing process and making it harder for ulcers to heal once they form. Managing foot ulcers in people with diabetes requires a comprehensive approach that addresses both the wound itself and the underlying factors contributing to its development. In severe cases, particularly if the ulcer does not respond to conservative treatment or if complications such as gangrene develop, surgical interventions such as debridement or amputation may be necessary to prevent further damage and preserve limb function. However, with early detection, proper foot care, and comprehensive management. Many foot ulcers in people with diabetes can be prevented or successfully treated, reducing the risk of serious complications and improving overall quality of life. Number five, foot deformities, particularly in the context of diabetes, often stem from a condition known as Charcot foot. It is a serious complication resulting from nerve damage caused by uncontrolled diabetes, this cycle of injury and continued pressure can result in fractures and dislocations in the bones of the foot. Normally, when a bone is stressed or injured, the body initiates a healing response by increasing blood flow to the affected area and laying down new bone tissue. Charcot foot typically presents with swelling, redness, and warmth in the affected foot. Due to the lack of sensation, you may not experience pain which can delay diagnosis and treatment. If left untreated, Charcot foot can lead to severe deformities, instability, and even joint destruction. These complications increase the risk of foot ulcers and infections, which can ultimately result in amputation if not managed promptly. In some cases, surgery may be necessary to correct severe deformities or restore stability to the foot. Being aware of the signs your feet reveal about diabetes is crucial for early detection and effective management of this condition. Remember, regular foot exams, proper foot care, and maintaining good blood sugar control are essential steps in safeguarding your foot health while living with diabetes. Stay informed, stay proactive, and prioritize your foot health for a happier, healthier future. Thanks for watching.